Chef Tony here in my kitchen. Uh, my home kitchen was sort of off site today, um, but we have a really wonderful Thanksgiving porridge to show you today. It's only about a week away, so you want to make sure that you have an easy, simple side dish or breakfast dish because you want to eat light or after Thanksgiving the next day for the morning. I love this porridge. It has everything you need. Remember we were talking about apples, an apple a day does keep the doctor away, that color white, and then of course walnuts, quinoa, it's gluten free, gluten light, uh, and we have um, a combination of this. And what makes it porridge is the fact that it has a consistency. I use the example sort of like an oatmeal. Uh, so come on with me, I'm gonna take you on our journey. So my apple, you can use any type of apple that you like. I love Granny Smith because it bakes very nicely. I don't want a really large Granny Smith apple. Um, I just wanted something that I can dice. I like sliced apple, very fine. Uh, if you see, I have this nice, I'm gonna fan that out just to kind of give you an example of that. Uh, and you know, when you have Apple. You always want to make sure when you're using a knife, good cutting board and a really sharp knife and protect your fingers. I keep the skin on because the skin on a Granny Smith apple cooks down very nicely too. So you just want to cut a little bit. I kind of rock it back and forth to get your apple consistency. And then I'm gonna have that and I'm gonna basically sprinkle with, and I was prepared today, so I have a little bit of cinnamon. Throw these in my pan. I've already had my juice of an orange. Want a little bit of my cinnamon, just a sprinkle. Cinnamon is so good for you on so many different levels. And it's probably the number one spice and the most recognized smell and aroma and taste you can have in your kitchen. So you want to be able to have that, a little bit of zest of an orange. If you don't have a zester at home like uh, I do, you can always use something like a grater. Doesn't have to be too fancy. The zest of the orange is where you get the flavor. It's a little bitter. A lot of people don't like it. And then I'm gonna just do a little bit. I use Valencia oranges, very sweet. I'm just gonna do a little bit of that. I'm gonna save this for later. I'm gonna put these on to medium heat. To make sure that they cook up nice and easy. I'm gonna grab a spatula, hold on one second. Nice that I have everything at my fingertips. Remind me to tell you about how we set up our kitchen at home. We're gonna be talking about that I think in January, uh, both at Villa Vida and maybe at our last class. I think it's important to be able to share that with you. So your apples are gonna basically cook down and what we call caramelize, which means get nice and soft. I have um, my gloves on, but I also have a rubber handle uh, so that I can pick this up and it's cool to the touch. So we're gonna let that cook on low heat. Once the apples are really caramelized, uh, we're gonna take our dry quinoa. So I have red quinoa really nice. Uh, we used this as our example last week about making sure we know where our product comes from. And then we have regular white quinoa. So I use a blend of both red and white. And I measured that out. So you got two teaspoons of butter. You can use coconut oil. I like coconut oil. Not everybody does like the taste. My quinoa is dry. And, and quinoa, like oatmeal, like couscous plumps up when you use moisture. Uh, and that's why it's such an easy dish. And I chose easy because all other complicated foods 
let someone else cook in the kitchen for Thanksgiving, you do and prepare the easy one because this is going to have the flavor and the punch and the pow um, for what you need. <clears throat> so we have our water. You want three cups of water, and the water is for your quinoa. And you want to make sure that you have that. You want to be able to have just a little tiny bit of salt. Again, I don't use iodine salt. Nothing's wrong with that, but I think we have too much salt in everything else we eat and drink, believe it or not. Some even bottled waters have it. We want to be able to use some of this. I do just a little bit of a pinch of that. Um, it calls for a half teaspoon. I think you're going to get the recipe. Checking on my apples. I know you don't smell that, but Chanel, you're starting to smell the cinnamon mm -hmm. and the apple and the yeah. and the butter. I'll tell you, it's like pie, apple pie. So good. You can hear it sizzle in the background. So add a, a little bit of this. I'm going to add a little bit of my water into my juice. I'm going to just toast my quinoa just for a minute with a little bit more of my butter. And what do I mean by toast? So I have the pan going. I'm going to turn on my flame here. butter. So this is dry ingredients. So sort of like walnuts, pine nuts, um, you want to be able to toast it on a little bit of a pan. Melt the butter just a little bit. Pour your quinoa. This is all measured out. Beautiful. I just want to show you that. This is what it looks like dry and ready to toast. Really nice, coat it on even, and then just want to toast it a little bit. You want to make sure it doesn't burn. Quinoa and anything dry can burn real quickly. I'll lower this just a little bit. My apples are nice and getting nice and soft. Toast these a little bit. We want the quinoa to plump. Now in here I have my three cups of water, a little bit of my orange juice, a touch of my kosher salt. I, mean, I want to be able to season it to taste and also show you what it looks in a finished thing. So we have um, this coming up, toasting it nice. the granules of sand. All right, now I'm going to add my water. Always want to step away from when you're adding water so that you do not get splashed with hot water. I'm going to turn this up just a little bit. And then I want this to come to a boil. Once you have this come to the boil, I don't cover it. Because it'll come to a boil, it won't cook it all the way, but it'll actually come to a boil, and then once you cover it, it cooks too fast. But I do want to make sure that I stir it. Always keep the handles away from you when you're working on the stove. The reason being, and I'll tell you what happened to me one time, I actually got my sleeve caught in my handle and turned it around. You want to make sure that you're safe all times in the kitchen. So we put on a timer for that. We want this to boil, get to a boil, and then simmer for about 15 minutes. It smells wonderful, heavenly in the kitchen. Now these are round, caramelized, soft. See how caramelized they are with the butter? You can almost eat these with the cinnamon just by itself. It's beautiful. 
shut that off. You could top it with walnuts if you want. In fact, Billy, would you be kind enough to hand me some caramelized walnuts if you can? Sure. Thank you. Uh, I like walnuts. Almonds are good. Uh, if you're going to go into a different nut, make sure that everybody that you're having as your guests can have the nuts that you're going to be able to serve. Um, I like walnuts because they have a bitter taste to it. They have a really great crunch. Uh, and you want to be able to use that and then take your walnuts and then keep them nice and toasted. Remember when you're cooking something on the stove, keep an eye on it. it hasn't gone to a boil yet. I'm gonna brown off your, you know, we have the luxury of having helpers with us in the kitchen. Sometimes it's our parents, sometimes it's the people that we work and live with. If you're in a group home or if you are working with your aide or your roommate, toast those off and nice. Now we're going to let that sit for 15 minutes once it comes to a simmer uh, after an ice boil. So very easy ingredients. You've got apples, orange, zest, cinnamon. I like to put my things and measure them out. You don't need to as long as you have measuring spoons, a cutting board, a knife, and a measuring cup. Very easy recipe. So after we're waiting on this, Toasting off our walnuts. I was raised on apple slices with cinnamon. So here's our finished product. I really love the way that finishes. Really nice. In fact, if I can have a little spoonful. I topped it with a little bit of more cinnamon in the walnuts. Wow. That's so good. If it's too dry, add a little bit more water. Add a little bit more orange juice if you want. I like it a little bit wetter. If you're going to warm it up the next morning, squeeze a little bit of orange juice on it and you can warm it up in the microwave real nice and easy. My camera crew needs to have some. <laughs> Billy, you have to try this. Yeah. See how soft that apple is? Mm -hmm. so that's my porridge. Very basic, very easy. Remember, you have some key ingredients. Butter or coconut oil. You can have a little bit of red or white quinoa. I like to use both because look how beautiful that looks. I mean, it's a real colorful display. The apples are wonderful. You have walnuts or almonds. Very easy. And yummy. Very yummy. Okay, now we're doing a boil. I'm going to lower this. I think you're going to have a wonderful holiday. I know we're not going to be together next week, um, so I just want to make sure that you have an easy dish to prepare, an easy recipe for later. If you don't make it for Thanksgiving, make it for another time or make it for the next holiday. You will not be disappointed. Thanks for sharing this time with me in my kitchen, Chef Tony. Thanks.